Okay, so I'm going to be trying to go from poor peasant to rich businessman in Red Dead Redemption 2. So basically, I've installed a ton of mods to make Red Dead Redemption 2 as realistic as possible. And starting at a zero dollar net worth, I'm going to try to work my way up the capitalism food chain. So yeah, I think the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, get a normal job. I mean, as you can see, we're so poor. We don't even have any shoes. We're like just straight up barefoot right now. Bartending is a pretty good first job, right? Uh, excuse me, sir. I would like some work. Okay, we have officially unlocked a bartender job. Dude, do you mind moving out of my way, please? Oh, dude, let me. Okay, this dude's ass is so big that I cannot move past him. I guess we're gonna have to go around. Okay, so let's start this job. How do I? Okay, I'm okay, reach for glass. There we go. Dude, this is so, oh my God, this is so menial. This feels so pathetic. Dude, imagine you're like a talented, a talented gunslinger, right? And you're cleaning glasses for a living. That's gotta hurt. I am tapping A like crazy. The amount of times they're making me tap A. All right, man. I don't know how many glasses this guy is gonna make me, make me clean. This is, okay, let's collect our salary and let's see how much we're gonna get paid for this. Okay, $30. $30 is not bad. I would say we're officially not that broke anymore. Okay, so apparently that's all I could do today for this guy. Uh, do I at least get the room in this saloon free of charge or are you gonna charge me for that too, buddy? Oh, we do get the room for free. Okay, uh, I guess we'll sleep till the next day and then hopefully this bartender lets us work again. I mean, $30 a day is not bad. If we do some simple math, $30 times seven is 210 times that by four, is 840 so hey if we grind this for a month we're almost thousandaires that's not bad okay let's work again let's make another oh, dude this dude with the fat ass is still here dude do you ever go away bro what the hell yo it's not letting me do it bro i thought we had like a contract or something what the hell okay i guess this guy apparently disowned me i guess i apparently am not qualified enough to be a bartender anymore uh that's totally fine uh, i guess in the meantime i'll look for something else to do I guess I'm gonna have to look for some other job to do since that guy basically just decided I wasn't fit anymore. Uh, what is this? Hunter job? That looks interesting. Let's see what that's about. Uh, I do think, however, before we get to the hunter job, we should buy some shoes with the $30 we have. We can't have Arthur walking around with these muddy feet for that long. Dude, we don't even have a horse. I'm actually gonna have to walk to the tailor. That is so pathetic. Uh, and it's like rainy outside. Let's just buy some shoes though. What kind of shoes should we get? I mean, I'm thinking something cheap, something that doesn't eat up our entire $30 that we made. What are the cheapest shoes we can find? These are all so expensive. Okay, wait, these ones are 14. 14 is not bad. Workman boots, yeah. Those will last you a lifetime. They better last me a lifetime. You're charging damn near $14 in $18.99. Do you know what that is adjusted for inflation, you goddamn bastard? I honestly should rob this guy, but I don't want to turn to criminal status just yet. Okay, so now that we've got some freaking shoes, uh, let's go run to this hunter job. We're still going to be jogging for a while. Uh, we're gonna, we'll save up enough for a horse eventually. We got to pace ourselves. Ask for work. Hunt a perfect turkey carcass. Okay, that should be easy. Do you know where I can find a perfect turkey carcass? Loads of turkey near Valentine? Okay, bet. Oh God, I'm gonna have to run. We might actually need to use our little bit of seed capital for a train ticket because there's no way in hell that I am running all the way to Valentine. So a ticket to Valentine, $10. Good Lord, that's like almost a third of my money. Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Capitalism is a tough beast. Okay, so we made it to Valentine. We should find some turkey in Cumberland Forest just above Valentine. So it'll still be a bit of a jog, but hopefully not too much of a jog, you know? All right, you know what? That's it, I'm giving up. I've been looking for a turkey for two days straight. This is like the hardest I've ever worked in Red Dead Redemption 2 in my life, and I have not found a single turkey. Turkeys are literally the most common animals in the area. Dude, I'm the most unluckiest person alive. I must be because I haven't found a single one. We're going back to town. I I'm going to try a different job. We're going to try a deliverer job. That job just, that was a completely trash job. I'm never doing that ever again. Come on, bro. Give me an easy one this time. All right, let's do a short distance delivery. Not interested in, in spending a lot of time to do this. Okay, transport the wagon to the destination. Okay, this should be easy. This is like just being a taxi driver, except it's in 1899. All right, it's just simple. How long? How, this was a short distance delivery. Let's see how far they're making me go. Oh, for bro. This is their definition of short distance. That's some horse shit. That's a short distance delivery? That's a freaking joke. I'm gonna be spending like 20 minutes doing this. Yo, they better pay me like a hundred bucks at least. Let's just see. You better pay me like a lot of money. 
Bro, he paid like 80 bucks. Oh my God, this is like, this is hard. Dude, we're making like such chump change for like an insane amount of work. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna give it one more try. One more legitimate job. If it pays me garbage again, I'm seriously gonna consider a life of crime because I can't do this any longer. This is just absurd. I'm gonna choose a lumberjack job. Lumberjack, give me some good job. Something high wage, I expect. All right, I will kill you with the ax if you don't give it to me. Go to the chopping block. Okay, let's see what this is about. This is about to be the best job ever. <laughs> Look at this go. Bro, this is role play at its finest. Hit it, hit it. Good job, Arthur. How much you think they paying for this one? Bro, 10 bucks? Bro, this isn't even minimum wage. This is actually like so broke. Oh, hell no. We barely made back the train ticket that we bought. It's time to turn to crime. This is, we're, we're gonna have our Walter White Breaking Bad arc now. Okay, I'm done with all this freaking nice guy crap. I'm not a nice guy anymore. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, it's time to commit crime. What crime should I commit first? Yeah, I'm gonna steal a horse now because I couldn't find one. We're just gonna steal it. At this point, if we're able to commit crimes, then there's nothing that's off the table anymore. I can do whatever the hell I want. Don't cancel me. It's just a game. Obviously, I condone all those activities in real life. I mean, I don't condone that. I don't, I don't condone that. God damn it. Okay, so we finally got a horse. This isn't a bad one too. He kind of reminds me of Buell. He's that special horse you get from Hamish. All right, let's get him friendly. Easy boy. Let's hitch him and we got to give him a bunch of treats and like make him our friend. Here, you're a good boy. See, you see that symbol on the top, right? That means we're, we're slowly getting the horse to like us. Good boy. You know, I think while I'm at it, since I'm finally committing crimes now, we're going to start shooting people off rip and just looting them. Because at this point, we have no morals anymore. You know, the, the world has turned us into a violent criminal. We got to take his stupid corpse off of here. Dude, get out of here, dead guy. Come on. Potent health care. You know, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the bank so I can deposit what I have. Because... With this mod, if I do die, then I lose 90% of what of my savings. So I want to make sure that I don't don't have those on me so I can put it in my bank account instead. All right, let's put it into the bank. Here, cash in all my money. Yes, please. Okay, see, so now our money is safe in the bank. So even if I die, I should be completely fine. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to cash out a little bit right now, though, because I do want to take a bath because my Arthur is goddamn filthy. Look at this man. I'm not gonna lie, Arthur is dirty, but goddamn, he is one, like no homo, he is one sexy man. Like how are you this sexy? Like no homo, how are you this sexy while being this dirty? It just doesn't make any sense. We're gonna take a bath. So let's use the 10 bucks I cashed out. We'll take a bath and I think I'll let Arthur have a night in a hotel room for once instead of a really bad uh, camp, just so he can rest a bit, you know? Can I assist you in there, sir? Obviously we're gonna get the deluxe bath too. Cost me an extra 50 cents, but you know, it's worth it. Arthur needs to be coddled a bit. So now that I took a bath and Arthur's clean again, I think I'm going to take up stagecoach robberies. Apparently we can make upwards of hundreds of dollars per stagecoach, which is a really, really good investment. So apparently to get a coach robbery tip, all we need to do is approach this weird looking guy at the post office, pay him two bucks. So there is a little bit of an investment we have to do, but then we should see a yellow stagecoach ambush location pop up on the map. So yeah, let's go get this stagecoach. We got some enemies on the horizon. Oh my God, is that TNT? Yo, I know how to kill these people. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta be strategic about this. Okay, all we have to do, there's TNT. So just take my weapon. What do you get when you take TNT and a bullet? Well, obviously you get a giant explosion. Oh crap, get down, get down, get down. I don't want to get injured. Dive, Arthur. Okay, I think we won. I think we won the battle. Let's quickly loot them before the cops get here. Bro, did I accidentally blow up the prize? Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to take the stagecoach. Dude, I hope I still get paid for this. I, I think the TNT was the product. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I blew it up. Get off the wagon, okay, back. All right, $126.35. I just saw that. Okay, see, now that, that is what I call bread. You see, crime pays. Okay, crime pays very, very well. So if I can just do like a few of those, I can probably make some really, really good bread. We're going back to Valentine, another coach robbery tip. Yo, where, where do I deliver this crap? Oh, wait, the prize is inside the stagecoach. Okay, this is a different kind of one. Okay, wait, no, I can smash the lock. There we go. Okay, that was $100. Not bad. Yo, these bounty hunters are getting annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do about them. We're starting to get bounty hunters on us. And I feel like that's going to be a pretty big problem. 
as I try to make more money. I mean, look, they even they're even coming with law dogs. So I guess I'm gonna have to like just gradually try to avoid the the lawmen, but it's just making it a lot harder. Okay, so now that we've reached a thousand dollars. It is now time to look for collectibles, okay? I've done enough grinding with the stagecoaches. It is now time for every little bit of known gold bar location that I can find. I need to look for every gold bar location that I can. So we're gonna go for treasure hunts. So we should be able to find a treasure hunter somewhere around the heartlands. Yo, I swear to God, this glitch happens every time. Yo, why is this guy floating? This guy always floats every time I come to him. What the hell? Bro, you are one interesting dude. This should give us so many gold bars. You think I was joking, buddy? You give me the goddamn map. Give me the map. I'm done asking. I'm done asking, boy. That's right. You and your beautiful mustache. You're making me jealous. Get out of here before I beat your ass. Being a bad person probably gets you pretty far in life. Here we go. It's gold bars time. Oh, and there he goes. Yo, chat, we're rich each you now. Did you know Cheerios cause fertility issues? Are you sure? We got the gold bars. Let's go to the fence now and sell it. One, two. Holy crap. Yo, now that is what I call bread. I like to see it. That's a good start. We're now looking at a lot of money. After selling those gold bars, I officially have over $2,000 in the bank. So I think I'm finally now going to be done with menial stuff. What I'm going to do now is with this current net worth, I'm also going to take out a $5,000 line of credit. So now we've got $7,000. I'm going to cash out all my money and I'm going to get into buying my first business. I'm going to buy out Co Chow and Co Gunsmith business. Officially time to become a businessman. Glad to see you back, sir. Yo, what up, bro? I need to spend $5,000 to buy this guy's business. So let's just go ahead. We're officially owners, let's go. All right, so currently my stock is empty. So I need to invest some money, the rest of my money into uh, buying products and stuff. There's a huge variety of guns that I can order. I think I'm gonna buy some rolling block rifles as my first initial investment. Now, hopefully those supplies will be there soon. So I've still got a few hundred dollars left. I think uh, while I'm waiting for my, for my business to start, cause I pretty much invested pretty much everything into it just now. Arthur is finally going to need to get an outfit change. Okay, we're still wearing the same rags we were wearing when we started out as a poor, which is completely uh, unacceptable. You know, absolutely ridiculous. All right, so I think obviously we're going to buy him a really nice fancy suit. Oh yeah, those are fancy shoes. Oh yeah. All right, well, this is a pretty fancy start. I'd say we're looking pretty well as a businessman. Good start indeed. Thank you, sir. Finally, now I look like a presentable businessman. Let's go see if our stock is ready in our gunsmith. Looks like my dad before he's ready to go to work. Just kidding. He left me. Uh, all right, so it doesn't look like my stock is ready just yet, but I am gonna, in the meantime, spend more money. We're gonna uh, pimp out our weapons. Might as well. Yes, make it gold. Make our guns solid gold. These babies are making me rock hard. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Damn, I love being rich. Oh, look at that. Already bumped up 224. People are buying our rifles. I like this dynamic. We started off poor. We tried to be legit. Then we got sick of it and we started committing petty crimes. And then after I got enough capital doing that, we got legit again and we got into business. It's like, it's the perfect cycle. Now that I have legit businesses to prop me up, it's gonna be harder for the authorities to clock me. I feel like Al Capone or something. So after waiting a little while for this money to start coming in, as you can see, we've st we're starting to generate some money. It only took a couple in game days. My business does have upgrades though, however, so I gotta I gotta think smart. I gotta think like a businessman. So we're we're gonna need to upgrade our our thing. I gotta make after hours a thing, which basically gives my employees a bonus for staying up late. So let's buy that upgrade. Gotta reinvest this back into the business. Can even get extra storage. So now there's even more space for my guns. I can't get the max storage yet, but we'll grind to that. But yeah, we're gonna be making a lot of bread sooner rather than later. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be worth at least 15,000 US dollars, which back in the day was a lot. We can get to that. I could say we're at least a level one successful businessman. All right, so finally I exhausted all my sales and we've made it up to $8,500 in our business. Now I could cash this out, but obviously, like I said, I want to make up to 15,000 by the end of this video. So what I'm going to do as our successful businessman, we're going to do get, get some of these upgrades. I'm going to get even more storage. Now I can buy even more, even more units to sell. We're growing our business. This is like Amazon style. 
Bro, I invested almost everything I had in my savings, bro. Alright, let's just let this grind now. Let's just let this crap go. And there we have it. $22,660 I have in this business right now. And my face cam died, so you guys can't see how happy I am right now. It took freaking forever, but yeah, I'm cashing out. I mean, crap, I can buy everything in the game now. And we did it legitimately. Now that's what I call a successful businessman.